It's been a trial like no other, and it's left an indelible mark on those who were there. Arthur de Nouveau, head of the NGO Life for Paris, says he'll never forget an audio recording of the shooting at the Bataclan played out by the court. The presiding judge played a clip from inside the Bataclan where you can hear one of my friends reply to the hostage taker. It was like going through a time tunnel, being inside the courtroom and hearing this clip that no one had heard. It reminded me that during this massive judicial process, there were nonetheless these intimate moments. Defence lawyers spent two weeks delivering their closing arguments to the court. Nigar Ayeri, a lawyer for Mohamed Amri, remembers how some of the plaintiffs shared their food with the defendants, a rare moment of kinship between victims and the accused. We asked the presiding judge if we could give them food, because we had cakes and sweets on hand. And exceptionally, Judge Perriez accepted. Afterwards, I was even told that some of the victims had offered the defendants food too. It's incredible. It's something that would only happen in this kind of trial. Closing arguments for the victims took nine days. Whilst some lawyers delivered their statements one by one, others did something unprecedented, a collective closing argument organized by themes such as love. When I spoke of love, of sexual prejudice, and the way in which the Islamic State group took advantage of young men's sexual misery, they're obviously subjects I would never have tackled in such detail had I made my own closing argument. Legal experts say the trial will serve as a model for similar criminal cases well into the future. This September, the special courtroom will be the setting of the trial into the 2016 attack in Nice, which is expected to last three months.